Hello. We all need emotional health in our life to sustain. So, there are certain views or certain things which troubles our emotional health. Uh, we should introspect whether we have been undergone any physical or emotional traumatic ex experience or even in our life that can create a limbatic part of your brain and it remains stress even after years. Just like the data stored in a computer's hard disk, it is stored in our brain. That has to be released. And another thing is the biological or the chemical imbalance which affects our emotions. The neurotransmitters, the hormones and the other chemicals plays a great role in our life which may affect our endocrine systems or even an organ. So the thought which frequently arises in our mind and according to that, when we get agitated, our body chemistry or the endocrine systems or the hormones get deviated and that may cause an Im emotional imbalance. So, you have to realize that emotion is nothing but energy in motion. Due to day-to-day -day life, certain things can affect our emotions. There is a relationship between the mind, body and the soul. The thoughts when agitated, it affects the body as well as the soul power also. Uh, there are certain stressful persons who create trouble in our life. The person who is aggressive, always criticism, having the criticism and also I mean to say uh, they find faults in others. Such people always create trouble to the other person and because of that also their deed or their way of behavior can cause a lot of emotional problems in our life. So what are the solutions behind making stability in the emotion or releasing or let go of the, all these emotion uh, traumas in our life? One thing is meditation can help, forgiveness can help, certain uh, medicines in homeopathy or in backflow remedy, even the mudras, the prana kriyas, healing can help to align our body, mind and soul and even we can release the emotion by forgiveness and release the unwanted traumatic experience from our subconscious mind and we can feel the emotional stability. So emotional stability is a must so we should take care of our emotions and better if you are not able to handle your emotion stability better consult a doctor or a counselor or any uh, person who is having the capability of releasing your emotions from your subconscious mind either by hypnosis or by uh, doing the healing. Healing is nothing but the alignment of body, mind and soul. So, let us peep in into our emotional hardness 
and let us see what has to be formatted and let us get formatted so that we can lead a uh, emotional stable life thank you for watching this video thank you